I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Well, I can see why so many people warned me about this episode. Because it was a waste of time. For people who have followed, this is another paid request for frame by frame. Thank you so much for that. If people want to send in any type of request, feel free to send them either directly to my PayPal, PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below. Was this some kind of ploy to do a spin-off on these other shitty characters? People who have been following my channel know that I've had a very mixed reaction to Stranger Things the TV show, let alone Season 2. And this episode was completely fucking pointless. I'm sorry, it was completely fucking pointless. It was a complete waste of fucking time. We have you when you only have nine episodes, and this is one of the ones you plug in, and all the stuff you could do, all the stuff you should do. The last episode leaves on a cliffhanger where the characters you've been following could get butt fucked on TV, Dwayne, by the Demogorgon Gorgons. Let's take a side swipe into Nightmare on Rainbow Street or some shit. What happens in this, Eleven is with the mom like she was last time we saw her. And it seems like Eleven is just in her own fucking movie just her, the whole time. Like, here's Stranger Things and here's Eleven, the movie. Like, it's just so separate from the rest of the show. Which I think was a ridiculous, stupid idea to begin with. Which, one of the things... One of the big things that made season one work is the friendship between Eleven and this kid named Mike. That's one of the things that made it work. That's one of the things that made it a strong... Well, I, w I wasn't even in love with season one, but I think that's one of the strongest parts of that. I had mixed thoughts on season one as well, but that was one of the things that people liked about it. And it's like, well, maybe she'll get back by episode eight of nine. I, oh yeah, what's the thing a lot of people liked in season one? Well, the bond between Eleven and Mike. Okay, cool. So we'll get them back together. Well, episode eight. Oh, how many episodes are there? Nine. What? No, instead, the mom keeps sending her images of a rainbow room. Showing her images of another girl, another kid. So she goes to the city. The, even the soundtrack. Hey, in case you don't get it, let's put Bon Jovi's She's a Little Runaway. Oh, real fucking subtle. Yeah. Why don't you have her walk on the fucking sunshine and have the song, I'm walking sunshine, whoa. Subtle as a fucking brick to the head. 
as she goes through an alley where every fucking reject punk from a Death Wish film is in, or all the characters they didn't use in the Final Fight video game, or in this one fucking alley way, then goes to meet this girl who is her sister, both hug, and I don't give a fuck about the gang of people. I don't give a shit about, oh, Axel, he laid spiders, he's got a fucking mohawk, there's Dottie, there's Mick, who's our eyes, here's Funshine, our big diesel looking guy. I don't give a shit about any of these people. Why should I care about any of these people? And by the end of the episode, I don't give a shit about anybody. You don't really learn much about them. You don't, there's nothing about their characteristics, there's nothing about their personalities, there's nothing about their fucking jo- dialogue. Not, even the, the sister, she's just an annoying twat. Someone should get her fucking face into the brick wall. Give a shit about her. I mean, so the first episode of the season dealt with these folks as if it was going to be a big important deal. Think about your first image, your first scene of the whole season is these characters. And then no mention in season episode 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, here's our episode. And if you took this episode out, well, this is episode 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you took this episode out, it wouldn't change much of shit. It really wouldn't. All that she got, she could have gotten from seeing her mom. So all the makers, well, uh, this is a poor part of her development. No, it's not makers of the show. Because all of her development on this, you get the same thing her seeing her mom. She was, she felt she was alone in the world. Oh, there's her mom, who also has a power. Because she, her nose bleeds. Well, I found someone, my mom's actually alive, and she has the power. Right then and there, you already accomplished your goal. What other goal did you accomplish? Oh, there's another one of me? Yeah, there's another one of you and your mom who has the power, nosebleed, is alive. This was pointless. This seemed like a spinoff for, or a pilot for a show that never happened. And I know there's one guy in the other comments who did like the episode. And if you're watching, I know you're going, well, yeah, wait till season four or five. So you're telling me none of this is brought up in season three. No, I'm sorry, if you have to wait, if you're season two, and you have to wait till season four for this one episode that makes sense, that's bad writing. It's bad writing, it's bad decision making, it's a bad call, Ripley, it's a bad call. I don't give a shit about these new characters, at times it feels very cartoony. Which is weird because the rest of the show is trying to be this 80s as if something was made in the 80s and now this seems like a cartoon with the way these guys are dressed, uh, the way the songs are used, they make her 11 move a train, they want her to help to find people, they give her a fucking makeover, they pretty much make her a goth chick, emo girl. They go to a gas station, freak a guy out to steal some shit. They confront this lab guy. She shows mercy because sees that he has a family. So what? It's pretty much to try to get her to turn to the dark side? That's really what this episode is. Is there a way to make Eleven turn to the dark side? So we may rule the galaxy together. As sister and sister. Sister, sister. And the one bit where she's hearing a little bit of David Harbour's speech that he did before. But did she even hear the rest of it? Did she hear like the most important part was the end of it? I don't think she did or did I miss that? Because she heard a little bit of it. But there's never a point where she hears the whole thing. I thought that would be the end of the episode where she would sit down and hear the whole thing. And she'd hear the whole message. Unless I missed it and I was so pissed that I I missed it. But this just offered nothing. It wasn't exciting. It wasn't funny. 
I don't think it pushed the story forward. It was just in a stalemate. Frozen in time. And I'm just like... The show is finally getting interesting at the end of episode 6. Where now the de- the, the monsters are going to get into the facility. A lot of our characters are there. Like, episode 6 was one of the best episodes of the season. And now you get an episode that is completely fucking pointless. It was a shitty pilot that no wonder got picked up. And no wonder a lot of people talk shit about it. Because it sucked. The new characters sucked. Personality-wise, no charisma, no interest. Name three... Name... One thing interesting about any of these people. Because I can't fucking think of it. So yeah, this episode sucked. It was a piece of shit. It was a waste of fucking time. If someone edited the... I've said before, this show would work better as a miniseries. Not as a 8-9 episode show. You could take all this stuff and condense it to 3 hours. You could do it with a season one. You could do it with season two. I guarantee you, you could make this into a three-hour movie and it would work better. I really do believe that. I do think it would work better. Because you have either shit like this that you could completely wipe out. I did her realization could be with her mom and talking with her mom or seeing into the mind of her mom and get to the same fucking conclusion because she's mad and angry at david harbour and david harbour wanting to keep her there and not let her go out all that she could learn from this episode she could learn from her mom so i just did a bunch of unlikable characters i get uh the the sister character being an annoying fucking twat that i don't give a shit about her power of making people see things So I guess she's able to make more than one people see things. Because she makes like all the cops raid the place. She makes them all see that they're invisible. They pretty much 11 goes, I'm not going with you. They drive away in the, their mystery van. And then she goes home. Ba ba ba. Again, what a waste of fucking time. And I think because I got a lot of warning from people, my rage is here instead of here. If I knew nothing about this episode and I'm watching this, but I, I because so many people warned me about it, I think it lessened the the impact of the anger. <laughs> you know, it kind of put some water to the fire and dim down the flame so to speak because like i said if i knew nothing about and it got to this i'd be like what the fuck is it but it's like okay i, I knew what's coming so yeah this is bullshit kind of that reaction so i don't know what else to say we'll see you guys later bye-bye